Hey there. I was just sitting here doing some reading. Um, the biography of Allen Ginsberg. I'm a big beatnik at heart and have been since high school. And doing some drinking and I had a sip of something and I thought, what the heck, let's make the video right here, right now, very informally. Um, it's late at night. I'm Look, I'm, I'm in my night clothes. Just make this very casual. Um, this brandy that I just was having a sip of is so good, though. It's, it's so good. I just was like, let's put down the book for a minute and do this video. So the brandy is this beauty. Coronet VSQ. It is from Kentucky, 40% proof, very special quality VSQ. Um, nothing else on the bottle here, and um, this is not the low-level brandy. It's a little more expensive. And, you know, not a break your bank thing, but it, it's maybe something you might not grab um, if you're stocking up for the party. You might think, ah, it's too pricey, but this is so worth picking up. This is amazing. This is such good brandy. And I bought it because I'd never had anything VSQ. I've done some videos of VSOP, but not... Very special quality. And I have to confess, I don't really know what VSQ means, necessarily. Um, technically, or I should say traditionally, or maybe I should say according to the French definition, um, VSQ and VSOP and some of these others recognizes how long the brandy has been in a barrel. Two years, four years, or whatever it is. But when it comes to American brandies, it's uh, questionable. There's no uniform established guidelines that everybody follows. So I really don't know what VSQ means, except this is not flavored. There's nothing on here that says even caramel flavor. This is really good. I've had videos where I've talked about a V. SOP brandy, and I wasn't too sure if I liked just straight brandy, and I didn't know, um, but this this is good. So I actually have my little shot glass here, all poured out for you, and uh, I, I'm breaking my rule of thumb tonight by actually having two of these, but it's, we're making the video. It has a nice smell. I don't really smell the differences between brandies. I'm sure they have a smell. Maybe the glass isn't helping me any. But I don't really get the differences. But this brandy... Oh! It... Ah! Uh, okay, so what makes this such a good brandy is there's a few things happening. It's <laughs> a pure ecstasy. We have that straight brandy taste, which I've discussed in other videos, VSOP and whatever. It's not honey flavored. It's not going to go down super smooth like that. It's not blackberry flavored. This is this is an alcohol. When I sip that, I can taste that taste that is unique to alcohol. You know what I mean. You know, you know you're not drinking apple juice. You can always there's is a not a harshness, but there's something about alcohol you know is there. So it has that, but it also has a couple other tastes. So as it's going down, it's super. I won't say it's super smooth. Well, maybe for brandy it kind of is. It's what makes it so amazing is there's literally at least three different feelings I get off of one sip. There's that alcohol thing. There's also a very smooth, nice taste. And then there's like a kick. I'm going to take another sip here.
So, I actually drink this and I let it sit on my tongue a few seconds. I don't know if you can see that, but I let it sit on my tongue and then I swallow it. And while it's on my tongue, I I swear that it's, oh, it, it's just like, I can't describe this brandy, but it like fills your, you can feel it in your mouth and it's just this nice, like it's warm almost. And it's not a warm, I mean, there's nothing warm about physically warm, but it's got this, I don't know, it feels really interesting. It's not super strong. Um, it may not be to everyone's taste, but this is just really, really good. It's a little harsh. So, I find, because I do a lot of sweet brandies, there, there's a little bit of a harshness to it that might be off-putting for some people. Um, if you're not a brandy drinker, then, you know, go with that Christian Brothers Honey Brandy or whatever. That's smooth and you won't even know you're drinking brandy. But this is a real connoisseur flavor. It's kind of the best that I can say. I It's so hard to put these things in the words. It, it's like describing rock music. Yeah, they rock. Well, what's that mean? Well, you know what it means. They rock. Um, meatloaf frogs, and so does Megadeth, and they don't sound anything alike. Like I said, the best thing about this brandy is as I drink it, I get all these flavors. Mmm. And it's smooth, it's a little heavy. It has a burn, almost. Like a little burning feeling going down. Um... I hate to use the word burn, it's, it sounds so scary, but it, it, yeah, this is just, this is what brandy's all about. I'm just really, really, really grooving on this brandy. This is one of the best buys I've had when it comes to brandy. This is a really nice brandy. I highly recommend this one. If you want to pick up something that isn't your... Eh, you know, generic brand, bottom of the barrel brand. You want something with a kick. You really want to enjoy it. Get this. But again, you know, it's not for everybody. Um, this isn't something you're necessarily going to be drinking down fast. This is the brandy to be enjoyed. And I even feel like I drank that shot glass too fast. Like, this is the one to be enjoyed in little bits and whatever, so... Coronet VSQ. Oh, it's worth a late night video. <laughs> now I get back to the real drink apple cider <laughs> and some Allen Ginsberg.